Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze Madness. This is the bonus episode today, or at least one of them. We're gonna make some custom levels! Woohoo! So, yeah. This here's how the editor works. So, you've got ten levels basically to choose from. Each different, uh, player's custom levels will have ten levels, and they have just these default one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got some options. First, we can place Freddy Fish, so she will always be facing to the right. Uh, you've got the kelp seeds that you put down, you've got the green kelp gates, worm doodles, bubble bath bubbles, whirlpools, yellow sponges, the brown boulders, and then you've got free sharks, free blowfish, and then free anglerfish to do with what you please. You can use this to change the styles. We have the deep dark caves, the slimy caves, and then the crumbling cavern. Different. Those are the three tile sets we can work with, essentially. We can use this to destroy the uh, individual pieces, but we can't destroy the ones on the wall here. Those are bolted in. You can also click on here. Do you really want to reset this level? Yes. So, other than that, it works pretty much the same as it does in single player, with one key difference: the whirlpools in multi—not uh, multiplayer. The whirlpools in custom levels behave very differently from the way they do in the normal single single player. In the normal single player, these are linked, essentially. You put, there will be two whirlpools that are just hard linked. You swim into one, you will come out the other every time. Here, whirlpools are random. If you have, say, four whirlpools, you enter one, you could come out of any of the other three. And, like, literally every time you enter it will be different. So that's something to, that's kind of annoying. You can also only have three of each type of enemy. But besides that, you can go crazy. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna make basically some of these most classic levels that my siblings and I made growing up. So enjoy this while I get to work. So we're gonna start just by making a long straightaway. This is a great level, by the way. Ready, fish! <laughs> Yeah, that's an amazing first level if I've ever seen one. So you can kind of see how this is going to work. So now, I'm basically just going to fast forward and you can watch my level creation process. And then at the end, I'm going to play all my custom levels. So see you guys in a bit.
Alright, <laughs> that's my 10 levels. <laughs> Let's play. Artie's a bit of a sadist when he's designing custom levels in the junior uh, games. Yeah, we're turning those all... Actually, no, not the bubbles. We'll do it in unlimited tries, though. So this is my favorite level. This is a great starter hall. This is amazing. It's just so perfect. With the score multiplier and all that. And it's a great way to just rapidly increase your score. <laughs> I got three level ups in the span of about 15 seconds. So you can just kind of hang out here and build up your lives here. I love this! Alright, that's enough fun. Let's go to level 2, where fiends get real. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds! Welcome to the temple. And well, we still have our power-ups, which is great, but they're probably going to run out very quickly. <laughs> when did my bubble wear off? I did not get that sound effect. Thinks I made a mistake with the blowfish on the left side. I don't think I had normally put him in. I was hoping he would swim for the kelp gate, though. <laughs> Boy, I've got unlimited lives on. Why am I losing lives? No. Well, it's a good thing I grinded on so many things on the last one. Nope. Or maybe it's a bad thing, because if I didn't, I would probably be done with the level by now. Don't go on you. And the nice thing is, if, if things aren't going my way, I have literally no one but myself to blame for it. Alright, yeah, you know what? So apparently that does nothing. So let's do this again. And now we can wreak havoc with the bubble and the uh, worm doodle. That poor anglerfish. Alright. This is one of my favorites. Boulder run. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp. Time the boulders everywhere. right, and it's a cinch. Fail to time the boulders right, and you're screwed. Or you could just have your bubble from the last one. It's mainly the sharks here, you gotta time. Come on. Why is that shark just being such a moron? Oh no! My bubble wore off at the worst possible time. I can almost outrun the boulder, which is kind of hilarious. Bam! Even got the times five for that level. This one has no real. This one doesn't have any real like meaning to it. It's just filling in with a bunch of rock, and then delete some, and hope you get a good level out of it. I don't think I did. Get 
away, Blowfish. Get away, Blowfish. I just realized there's pretty much no way to get through that Blowfish. Come on, open the gate. Yeah, open the gate. No, stay open for a moment enough for the Blowfish to get through. I guess one thing I could do is hope he goes towards the angler fish. I didn't think this fruit, did I? Haha! <laughs> okay, that blowfish over there is gonna be a bit annoying. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's doable, but it's tough. Alright, this one seems like it'll be a bit more manageable. Yep. <laughs> that is tight timing on the anglerfish. I feel a bit bad about that one. Didn't hit the shark. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bullfish, get down here. In your face. <laughs> I forgot that they can swim over the whirlpools. That's my bad. No, no, no! <laughs> Whoa! The game is way more lenient on <laughs> enemies hitting you in the whirlpools in custom mode. I wonder why that is. We better get swimming and collect <laughs> all those kelp seeds! Well, here's where you gotta be a good marksman. that bubble bath. Alright, this one... You gotta use the sponge as a shield. Boom. Uh-uh. No, my game over. That's fine. So apparently, unlimited lives does not work. Yeah. Custom level mode. I don't know why that is. <laughs> How did I not die there? <laughs> Even I am flabbergasted at that. <laughs> I go overboard with the enemies, it's true. I'd say I can't help it, but I absolutely can. I just choose to be a sadist. Why are there so many enemies over here? It doesn't matter, I got it anyways. <laughs> this one could be a bit random. Just a little bit. So as you can see, I can enter the same whirlpools and end up in different whirlpools. Not the way it works in regular mode. Oh boy, okay. Now I gotta run the gauntlet. <laughs> I do still have bubble bath, though. Actually, maybe I don't because I game over on that level. Oh, I do. <laughs> I can deal with the angler fish. Shit! No, I can't. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I even have bubble bath. Would you mind? I'm trying to do the level here. You're doing a dang good job guarding that whirlpool at the end. And by the way, I'm not saying that these are well designed levels at all. These are just the levels I remember us designing as children. No, my last bubble bath. <laughs> Ate my input to go up. I blame you for my pickle factory incident. <laughs> it could be worse. I could have put all three sharks on the left hand side. It does not help that the enemies can't overlap at all, so they push each other around. Therefore, there are. There's those enemies can be everywhere, and they can't be condensed into one little c group. Alright. No? Dog on it! The sharks! Maybe I should not have put all three anglerfish all in a row? I think that was actually a colossal mistake. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, let's hurry that one along a bit, shall we? Now, of course, I, has, I still have to get to the end before my bubble wears off. Which, given how random this level is, might not happen. Oh, then it did. Cool. And now things get really insane. <laughs> the fortress with the moat of seaweed around it. I think I overdid it big time with the seaweed. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure when we made this level as kids, we didn't put that much in. Though getting to the end part, it's you're pretty much golden. Yeah, time for the last level. Yet another fortress. You can take the whirlpool to get inside, but it's risky. So yeah, at the very least, I feel like this is an interesting and fair level. And those are my custom levels, so feel free to mess around in the editor. That's not the end of the Let's Play. I still have at least one, maybe two more bonus videos to go. We'll just have to wait and see. So thanks for watching, everyone, and until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.